gods of Egypt. Damn you, Chris Stuckman. You just made me want to see it just how you described it. Gods of Egypt is the super whitewashed Egyptian movie that people were getting all pissed about because there was no Egyptian people in this movie. Trust me, it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> this film is so bad. It is the Batman and Robin of our year. The way people act, the extravagancy and the ridiculousness of the sets and the story and the pacing and the acting. I haven't seen acting this cheesy and awful since... This film is such a cheese ham sandwich mess that you are interested in how the film continues only to see how much bigger of a fucking train wreck this film can become. It is honestly one of the worst films in the last five years and it's not because the fact that they whitewash the cast it's because this film is absolutely pointless now there was something that the director alex poetry I, I i can't pronounce his name but he did point out something about how his critics were pointing out how awful this film was and how they were comparing his previous films as masterpieces and this one being terrible when his previous films before were labeled as bad now here's something i haven't seen the crow but dark city is one of my favorite films and i'll give you this man you made a great movie there knowing was a piece of shit though and so is this. Now the points that you make are quite concise in your statement that you released a little while ago. I agree with some of the points you say, but I don't think Roger Ebert would have liked this dude. I think he would have thought it was shit too. The effects switch back and forth from being all right to garbage. The green screen is terrible. The acting is awful. The dialogue is even worse. Gerard Butler, I was laughing my fucking ass off every time he did something. There's a character who just all of a sudden dies, and I was laughing at the screen. This was a great fun with my friend as we just tore this film apart as we were watching it. But the entire time, we're just sitting there going, why are we sitting here? It's Toonie Tuesday, and this still isn't worth it. This film jumps around so often that you kind of lost, which is odd considering a film that is so stupid is actually losing you with the amount of information that it's trying to give you is quite impressive. The things I will give this film a positive for is the absolute balls out crazy shit that they did with kind of putting the idea of what the Egyptians believed to be their reality onto the screen. A flat earth. Raw flying around in a spaceship in space fighting the leftover Galactus effect from Fantastic Four the rise of the Silver Surfer. This was an absolute train wreck and it was fun to watch just to see how much worse it could get but I never want to see this garbage again. I never want to watch this again. It's other train wrecks are more durable than this thing is. Gods of Egypt is a one out of seven. It is awful because you just don't care. The film moves on a purpose to basically complete itself. The commitment from the actors is also atrocious. The dialogue is just balls out shit. And the, I don't know, the whole movie's a green screen garbage mess. This is one of the worst flops I've seen in a long time. And I don't know, man, I, Alex, you know, I understand that you'd be mad that people would think your movie's shit, but it is. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. I had a double header. I saw Triple Nine earlier, and then I saw Gods of Shit Eep, uh just for now. So that's, excuse me, that's all from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. It's not as descriptive as I want it to be, but honestly, it's garbage. Do not see it. It is Really? Batman and Robin? That's the first thing I can think of. Anyway, that's all from me.